Do you want to know how to take a psychic shower to clear your aura? I'm very hands-on with my videos, but I'm not going to stand in the shower naked and show you. <laughs> okay. Um, what you can do is, when you get under the shower, use salt as well. Salt clears your aura fantastic. Either put salt in your bath or salt on your sponge in your shower. So, to help even more, you imagine a white light bathing you. You just feel the um, water coming over you and imagine a white light bathing you. And you breathe in positivity and then breathe out negativity and you imagine this white light energizing you all the time you're in the shower all the time doing this covering yourself with the salt on the sponge obviously um, and say to yourself this water is cleansing me and filling my aura with energy yeah or you can have a relaxation one have a relaxation one if you like but you just breathe in energy or breathe in positivity and say to yourself, you're breathing in positivity, breathing, and then you breathe out all the crap. You breathe out negativity. You breathe out that person who's had a go at you today. Um, you breathe out the person on the bus who were depressed and sat next to you. Yes, we feel sorry for them, but you really don't want to bring it home in your aura, yeah? Um, to re-energise your aura, you could just sit and chill out and re-energise yourself. So it's great for re-energising you. A mad dog, a mad cat, mad children. <laughs> I've all got them. <laughs> um, but somebody with a lot of energy. You know, if your children have loads of energy and you want to get them to bed, <laughs> give them a big cuddle and pinch all their energy and make them go to sleep. Um, <laughs> anything like that can re-energise you. Yeah? So you just want to breathe in energy and breathe out the negativity. You can also do it in a bath. You can lay in a bath, put salt in your bath, put salt in your sponge if you like. Um, any kind of salt. It doesn't have to be Himalayan rock salt. It could be table salt. It's just table salt. It's cheaper. Yeah. You know? What you put on your paths in the snow to clear your paths or to fill your salt cellar up with. Um, but you can do that and it'll just help. And it'll help get rid of all the stuff. Obviously then don't put your work clothes back on. We've talked about the clothing before. Put the clothing away, it's full of negativity, <laughs> like it's all over your clothing. Don't get rid of it. <laughs> put it in a basket with a lid on, your washing basket. Put it in a wardrobe with the door shut. Don't let that negativity escape all over your bedroom. And then when you've had a bath or a shower, obviously clean clothes back on and you'll feel a lot better. You'll feel a lot better with clean clothes and that'll make you just feel more energised anyway. I have work clothes, so take the work clothes off when my clients go and put other clothes on.